My name is George Cassell. I'm from Marysville, California. I am 54 years old. I suffer from a disease called neurofibromatosis and I lost my right leg above the knee due to large plexiform neurofibromas that grew in my leg. And the only other choice I had was to amputate. At UCSF, we've been involved in one form of osseointegration research and development for nearly 40 years. I come at this from the perspective of an orthopedic tumor surgeon. I take care of adults and children with bone and soft tissue tumors and tumor-like conditions. Unfortunately, we're only able to save the limb in 75% of patients. In 2004, I traveled to Sweden to meet uh, Dr. Brandemark uh, as he has been developing bone anchored percutaneous implants for the rehabilitation of amputee patients for 25 years. I've devoted my life to a technology called osseointegration. I'm very honored to be a visiting professor here at UCSF for two years to help Dr. O'Donnells and his colleagues to establish a center not only for clinical treatment based on the osseointegration technologies, but also to create a platform for future development that will uh, give us enormous opportunities in the future. It's not a technology without problems, but in most cases, this will have a dramatic impact on the amputee's quality of life. My name is Eric Ox. I was born in Norway in a place called Higgin in 1940. I lost my leg in a hunting accident in 1986. Well, in 1999, in March, I got my first implant. I hope to gain from the Osseo Integration Program a better quality of life. Being able just to do the simple things in life, like just walk across the street and visit a neighbor. With uh, Eric, it's unbelievable the turnaround you'd have with a he had osseo integration. I watched him walk up a hill, watched him just push me in my wheelchair, and he's just walking around like it's a normal leg, like an everyday use. It's incredible. On average, uh, in a controlled clinical study, we can show that uh, nine out of 10 patients will uh, benefit from the treatment. I think it's important uh, to add that you have started uh, osseointegration centers throughout the world in Europe, Asia, Australia, South America. The osseointegrated implant is now FDA approved. Now it's time in the United States for this technology to be brought for the benefit of our young and old patients with cancer or trauma and our active duty military and veterans who have suffered limb loss and desperately need this chance to be made right, to have a chance for a better and higher quality of life. So if you are in any way interested in joining our program to make it right for these young patients with cancer, for these trauma victims, or for our active duty military and veterans, our wounded warriors, please contact us, go to our website, learn more, help us to make it right.